Okay, so here you see the four battery banks plus the top box, which is actually the UPS. This happens to be a 10 kVA UPS, and that's what it looks like altogether. In this video, I'm going to show you how to daisy chain the battery banks and connect to the UPS. Right, so we have uh, three backup batteries, one battery that comes with the UPS. The UPS is this on the top, it comes with its own battery, and then as you can see, there are three additional batteries, and this is how you wire it up. Right, when you get your batteries, you'll see there are two terminals on the battery bank, and you will have to take off this little cover, it's got two screws. Once you've taken off the cover, you can see you can plug in your cable, so it just plugs in there, and it needs an associated earth. There's the earth with a screw. So if you have a look at this, this is a daisy chain setup. As you can see, there's bank one connected to bank two. Right. The earth is connected to the chassis. There's a little screw there. And you can see it comes here both screwed into the chassis. There you can see daisy chain again. The daisy chain is as follows. What a daisy chain means, you go from one to the other to the other. And why do you do that? Because the UPS has only one power connection for the battery. So even though you've got many battery banks, they have to be connected in daisy chain formation. All right, so there we go. Bank one connected to bank two. Bank two connected to bank three. So if you have a look, this one is coming from bank two. And here is bank three's own cable. Daisy chained to bank four. There you see. And coming out from bank four feeds into the UPS itself. You can see each one of the uh, tension cables has, uh, has its own earth connection, you can join them together as long as they are fastened onto the chassis. And you see this is the single connection to the UPS itself. So here's the connection and there's the earth and those are all the daisy chains at the bottom there. Now the next thing you do is you'll just turn them all on. One, two, three, and four. So now they're all on. Uh, lastly, just it's very important to date your battery banks because uh, these battery banks obviously have a lifespan and uh, lead acid batteries just decay over time. So I just put the date. Uh, these were April. These are September, for, just for example. Now all you need to do is tell the UPS how many battery banks you've got and you might want to adjust the charging current. I'll show you how to do that now. All right, so what you want to do now is you want to tell it how many battery banks. So you press and hold these two buttons together and you see it goes into menu. You scroll through the menu. All right, so menu number 19, you can see that it's telling you uh, how many battery banks you've got. Two, and these are nine amp hour batteries. So you just say OK to get into the menu. So OK, it's telling you just to confirm that nine amp hour batteries, which is the ones I've got installed. And now you want to just uh, move through this. You want to tell it four battery banks now. There we go. Let's accept it. And at this point, you might want to change the charging current. If you look here on menu item 18, it says one amp charging current. Now that for me is way too little with this many battery banks. I'm going to change it to four amps. Right. Now it's accepted two. It's not accepting four, but okay, so two amps. And then to exit the menu, just press and hold those together. And there you go. Here you can see the backup time, four hours. 2.7, okay, they're loading it up. And switch it back on. Okay, just explaining how the backup time is calculated there. It says it's got four hours left and then it dropped to 2.3. And what it does is it looks at the loading and it compares that to the uh, battery banks that are available. So if you have four battery banks and you tell the UPS that there's only two battery banks, then what will happen is the UPS will cut out earlier, even though the battery banks are available. So it actually is not using a measured value, it's using a calculated value. So it's very important to tell the UPS that you've added battery banks, otherwise it won't stay on for the time that you want it. There is a derating factor. Remember I showed you the dates on the battery. After heavy use 
or uh, after several uh, years, maybe uh, maybe towards the second end of the second year to going towards the third year, we know that lead acid batteries decay quite quickly. So the UPS is not going to give you that four hours, for example, with a certain loading. So you can derate that by, say, 10%, 15%. So every year, I recommend you derate it by 10%. There's a setting there. Check your manual, and you can derate it. And then what it'll do, it'll cut out the UPS a little bit earlier because uh, in that way, not depleting the batteries. Remember, lead acid batteries must not go beyond the critical point, and that is uh, why you derate it. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers.